ವರ್ಣಿವೇಶರಮಣೀಯದರ್ಶನ ಮಂದಹಾಸರುಚಿರಾನಂಬುಜ ಪೂಜಿ ಸುರನರೋತ್ತಮೇರ್ಮುದ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹಂ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹಂ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಶ್ರೀ ಘನಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ನೀಜಯ ಓಲ್ ಮೈಟಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾಡ್ ಓಲ್ ಬಿ ಲವ್ಡ್ ಘನಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪಾತ್ ಮೇ ಕಟ್ ಹೋ ಲಿಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಪಾತ್ ಗುರುಜಿ ಆನ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಡ್ಯೂಟೀಸ್ ಜೈ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ ಹಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಂಡೇ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸೆನಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಾರ್ತರ್ನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಹಿಂದೂಸ್ತಾನ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟುಡೇ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಉತ್ತರ್ ಪ್ರದೇಶ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಲೆಟ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಸಮ್ ರಿಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅವರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಬೈ ನಿಸ್ ಗುರು ಆನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಭಕ್ತ ಚಿಂತಾಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಸದ್ಗುರು ನಿಸ್ ಗುರು ಆನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಟಿಟಿ ಬೈ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿಂದಾ ಇನ್ ದ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದುವಾ ಇನ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಪ್ರದೇಶ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಟೌನ್ ದಟ್ who worship bhagwan swami narayan meaning binda was alone a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan and the whole village or the all the other populations they were not become a satsangi or a devotees of bhagwan swami narayan and that's why he had to suffer a lot many many problems and many many bad words he had to listen even more than that he had his own auntie she was very bad by her nature and that's why she always without any mistake without any reason she always try to insult binda as well as many times even she without any fault she said this is binda's fault in this way she try to tease and try to disturb binda while he was worshiping bhagwan swami narayan but finally when jamdoots came at the time of her death and uh, how she felt unbearable pain when she saw the jamdoots and finally as by mistake anyhow she remember bhagwan swami narayan and she chant bhagwan swami narayan's name only once and as she found that only once she spoke a uh, divine holy name of bhagwan swami narayan and jamdu stop they could not come near and that's why she realized that there is only one god on this universe and that is bhagwan swami narayan and in this way when she had a conviction that bhagwan swami narayan is a supreme lord and in this way finally after having conviction regarding bhagwan's divine form and his nature as she started to chant bhagwan swami narayan's holy name jamdus filiyave and finally bhagwan swami narayan came to her to took her into his aksardham so this is what the first incident the second in the second incident there was a story of uh thakur das and his wife danubai both were the devotees of bhagwan swami narayan and they even follow very strictly the vows of non lust meaning they remain even in a house just as santo lived in the society both have no any kind of attachment or attraction regarding the opposite gender not only that but when uh dhanubai was there in the home thakur das sat outside from the home and when thakur das had to come inside the home dhanubai had to come outside from the home so this is what their vows of non lust meaning uh, eight fold celibacy even when they touch each other, each other's clothes they perform a waterless fast on that day so uh, after watching this strict observation observance of bhagwan swami and his rules 
द अदर नन बिलीवर्स दे गेव अ पॉइंट दैट वी ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू बिकम अ ड्यूटी ऑफ भगवान स्वामी नैन बट एज यू फॉलो दिज मच स्ट्रीकली दिज वोज एंड दैट्स वाई इफ वी बिकम अ ड्यूटी ऑफ भगवान स्वामी नैन वी हैव टू फॉलो दिज रूल्स बट वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू रिमेन सेलिब्रेट ऑल वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू रिमेन इन दिस वे we also want to enjoy our uh, social relations and our family life and that's why we do not want to become a uh, bhagwan swaminarayan's devotee and finally bhagwan swaminarayan divinely came there he gave his darshan to this uh, dhanubai and thakurdas and finally bhagwan swaminarayan instructed both of them not to follow these rules instead they should start live as a husband and wife meaning they should start now their family life uh, family life and finally they obey bhagwan swaminarayan's command and bhagwan also gave darshan to other devotees as well as those non believers who said we want to become a devotee but only as you follow these much rules as strictly so we ne- we do not want to become a satsangi they also got a darshan of bhagwan swaminarayan and finally they also become a satsangi of bhagwan swaminarayan now today in the same chapter sadguru niskuran swami described the two other incident in the same village of dua there was a female devotee by the name of gangubai she was very poor and that's why she had to even collect uh collect a uh, cow dung every day for fuel in a home meaning at the time there was no any natural gas or no electricity nothing and that's why people use cow dung as a fuel for making all kinds of vegetables and food and for all purpose so this gangubai she went to the other female devotees outside from the home meaning uh, on the outskirt of the village there gangubai was the devotee of bhagwan swami as well as the other females who were also there to collect these cow dungs they were also some of them were also devotee of bhagwan swami and that's why they all not only collecting at the time the cow dungs but at the time while doing this work they also chanting bhagwan swaminarayan's holy name as well as they also one by one one after one singing kirtans regarding bhagwan swaminarayan's divine form and his divine episodes now gangubai was as her turn was there she was singing bhagwan swaminarayan's kirtan while remembering bhagwan swaminarayan's divine form as she was singing at the time while remembering bhagwan swaminarayan's divine form she was not sat in a mandir or in her home but she was doing a work she was collecting cow dung and at the same time she was also by her mouth singing devotional songs to please maharaj as well as by her mind she was remembering bhagwan swaminarayan's divine form so even though she was doing a worldly task she was doing a worldly job because her job was that she was doing that job and still that become a devotion why because at the same time she was singing bhajan or a kirtan for pleasing maharaj as well as she was also remembering bhagwan swaminarayan's divine form and that's why that activity become a devotion as in the vachanamrut the 11th vachanamrut of garuda second chapter in that vachanamrut bhagwan swaminarayan himself described this method that as a devotee perform any kind of activity but if that activity should be uh, only pleasing maharaj or his ekantik sant then that activity become a devotion in this way as 
Gangubai was doing this work, but she was also remembering Bhagwan, and that's why that activity become a devotion. And finally, as she was too much affection for Maharaj and know any worldly task remain in her heart, at that time Bhagwan Swami and meaning Maharaj himself divinely appeared over there. So all the other female devotees, they were also singing bhajans after Gangubai. But as they all saw Bhagwan Swaminarayan divinely appear over there, so they all got surprised that how Bhagwan is here. And uh, Maharaj also started to sing with all these female devotees and finally all would stop to sing because all were busy in enjoying Bhagwan Swaminarayan's darshan and finally as Gangubha had too much affection for Maharaj and as she had a darshan of Maharaj so finally she sat at the same place and without uh, without any kind of sign or without any signal or nothing else she just went into the samadhi as she had a darshan of maharaj only because of maharaj darshan she fell uh, or she went into samadhi the other female devotees they were enjoying bhagwan swaminarayan's divine darshan now after some times maharaj was disappeared from that place and Maharaj was uh, Maharaj was disappeared from there, and that's why all the other female devotees they were uh, doing uh, again they were busy in doing their own work, meaning collecting the kaurangs. But still, Gangubai was there. He was sitting in a meditation position, uh, and she was why because she was in a samadhi. So now, the other female devotees, uh, after some times, the Gangubai came back from the Samadhi, and at that time, the other female devotees, they asked her, why are you sleeping? Some say, why are you sitting for meditation as Bhagwan Swaminarayan was him, uh, himself in front of us? Then what to do while closing your eyes? When Bhagwan is not present in front of us, at that time we should meditate upon his form. But as he was in front of our eyes, then why should we close our eyes to have his darshan? Then Gangubai said, no, the, you all are right, but I am, as I got a darshan of Bhagwan Swami Narayan, then because of divine darshan I went into Samadhi this was also because of Maharaj wish he wanted to show me the divine abodes first he took me into Golok then in you know, Vaikunt this was a divine abode of uh, Golok was a divine abode of Lord Sri Krishna Vaikunt is a divine abode of Lakshmi Narayan and Swedip that was a uh, divine abode of Vasudev Narayan. So in this way, Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself took me into these different different kinds of divine abodes of Bhagwan, and finally he took me into his divine abode Aksardam. There in Aksardam, I enjoy the divine bliss of Aksardam as well as I have a darshan of the countless millions of muktas who were all time busy in doing Maharaj darshan in the Aksardam. So in this way, Gangubai described the divine darshan of Aksardham towards all the other female devotees. Then all the listeners, they all got surprised. And as she, uh, as they have also darshan of Bhagwan Swami, and so they believe that Gangubai's talk, Gangubai's incident is true. And finally, they all enjoy the this incident happened in their life because Bhagwan, when himself came in front of one 
without praying him to give darshan or without even any expectation when bhagwan himself manifested in one uh, one's eyes or divinely appeared there then one can enjoy and remember that incident throughout one's life so in this way throughout their life these all female devotees they enjoy this divine darshan in their mind and in their eyes in the next incident the last incident of this chapter sadguru niskunan sam described the incident happened in the same village in the dua there was a brahmin family and in that family there was there was a brahmin family and there were two brothers one was bud and his younger brother he was a madari so these two brothers they both enjoying bhagwan swaminarayan's devotion meaning they both were the devotees of bhagwan swaminarayan as they both the devotee of bhagwan swaminarayan they without any disputing or without any problems in the family they worshiping bhagwan but for earning money they have their own business and in the business we know many times there may be a dispute within two brothers whether the both the brothers or the whole family of the devotee of bhagwan swaminarayan still there may be a chance of having dispute because business is such a thing that without a dispute or without a problem one cannot run a business in this way bud and madari they have their own business and in a business anyhow they have some problem and because of problem there was a dispute bud was elder than the madari so he spoke many hard words for madari and insulted him now madari he was a younger brother of bud so and also a devotee of bhagwan swami and so see uh, so he d- did not anything say in return to bud and instead he listen all this whatever bud spoke for him but after some times meaning only one or two hours bud thought in his mind no doubt madari was my brother but more than that he was a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan as i am a devotee of maharaj he was also a devotee of maharaj so only for money only for this property and wealth i insulted not only my brother but i insulted a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan so as a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan bud thought in his mind that i insulted a devotee and that's why i have to ask for forgiveness for my maharaj because as in the vachanamrut maharaj says when a person who insult my devotees then there will be no any other craver sin than that and that's why by realizing this his mistake bud realize that i had made a greatest mistake in my life by my this behavior bhagwan swami narayan would not be pleased upon me so now becoming fresh after having a sour and becoming a fresh he said for a bhajan with full of devotion full of emotion he was doing bhajan and praying to maharaj maharaj please forgive me this is my mistake i will not do the same mistake in a future madari is not only my brother but your devotee so please forgive me in this way bud was trying to please maharaj and as that was the time of mansi puja meaning uh, that was the time of lunch so he was doing mansi puja 
and first he prayed to maharaj please maharaj forgive me and please accept my devotion in this way when he was doing mansi puja then maharaj become very pleased upon this devotee why because he asked for forgiveness and even he realized that by mistake i insulted a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan the another thing is that as he realized this is not only my brother he was a devotee also and that's why his body rela- body relation is cut there and the divine relation as a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan created that's why bhagwan swami narayan become very pleased upon both finally as maharaj pleased upon this his devotee bud and he gave his darshan in a mansi puja to this devotee after having darshan bud realized that maharaj become very pleased upon me why because till today he did not give me darshan and as i made mistake still as i prayed to him he gave me darshan now he uh, thought in his mind definitely maharaj give me forgiveness and after having darshan he said maharaj please sit here for some time i arrange for your meal and he himself as he was a brahmin and in india at the time brahmins know very well to cook and that's why he himself as he had uh, taken a shower so he himself went into the kitchen and himself prepare many many tables like here it was written that a uh, dud pak and many many sacks and many other sweets and many other things he himself made and even he offer all these things one by one to maharaj and he fed maharaj and while eating while eating and uh, maharaj was eating and at the same time bud was serving to maharaj maharaj was not only eating but while eating he was describing the glory of devotees to bud and maharaj while smiling he said fisher always remain very humble with the devotees because devotees were the only true relatives of us and that's why we should not behave with the devotee just as the worldly people behave with the other worldly people so in this way maharaj taught him how to behave with the devotees while maharaj was eating not at the time maharaj not only gave darshan to bud but after eating maharaj even gave darshan to many other devotees and many other people as all the other people and devotees they they all have darshan of maharaj they also become surprised and they realize that bhagwan swami narayan is a true god and bud and madari they were both the devotees of bhagwan swami narayan that's why they gave darshan uh, they got darshan of bhagwan in this way after having darshan and realize that we should not we should never insult any devotees of bhagwan swami narayan they got this teaching from maharaj they again bud and madari both ask for forgiveness to each other and they forsake all the what was happened there and they enjoy again the same devotion the same business and same relations and everything continue and they enjoy and even gradually day by day they improve and develop more and more conviction more and more devotion for bhagwan swami narayan 
So in this way Nishkunan Swami concluded here 154 chapter of Bhakta Chintamani. In this way Nishkunan Swami finally said meaning both the devotees as well as the other villagers they all become very happy in their mind and while remain happy in the mind they all worship Bhagavan Swaminarayan as Bhagavan Swaminarayan himself said in the Vachanavri that my devotees should remain happy in their mind in their heart and worship me so in this way all the devotees Madari and Bud as well as the other villagers they will also become a devotee and they all enjoy divine satsang. Sri Ghanushyam Maharajani Jai Sri Patim Sri Dharam Sarvadeveshwaram Bhakti Dharmatmajam Vasudevam Hare Madhavam Keshavam Kamadam Karanam Swamina Rayanam Nilakantham Bhaje Sri Ghanushyam Maharajani Jai